First question, how long should I expect um, a demo to take when I pitch to a VC? That's from Pam Sparks. Great question, Pam. So um, depends on the product. Some products are super simple, and it also depends on the VC. All these VCs are different. Some VCs, they want a deck. They want to read the deck. They want to prepare their questions, and they want to come in and amazing, right? You, you, they're super prepared. Other VCs come to the meeting, and they're 15 minutes late. They're on their phone. They're getting interrupted. They're looking at their SMS. I mean, it's all kinds of bad behavior I've seen uh, in a VC pitch meeting, and great behavior. Some VC firms block an hour out just so they can give the entrepreneur as much time as they need. So that VC firm, Sequoia, they always do an hour. And I always said to the partners over there, like, wow, that's a lot of time. Sometimes I only do half an hour, 45 minutes. They're just like, hey, if we're interested in meeting with you, we've already reviewed the materials. We have a deep interest. We want to take a deep dive if that's what the entrepreneur wants to do. And so it varies. Uh, sometimes you have a lot of product. Sometimes you have a lot of uh, market to go over. Generally speaking, you can ask the VC what they like. Uh, or you can tell them what your plan is and say, does that sound okay? So that's what I always do. I come into the meeting, shake hands. I know a little bit about everybody. I've done my diligence, right? So this is one thing that I find uh, entrepreneurs, especially first-time ones, are real rookies at. I want to know who's in the meeting, and I want to do a complete research on that person. So there's three people in the meeting, and I know, hey, one of them is Ruloff Botha from Sequoia, but he says, hey, I'm bringing Alfred Lin with me, and I'm going to bring this other new guy, Tim, or whatever. I want to know who they are. I want to have read their LinkedIn pages. I want to look at their um, Twitter handles, uh, friend them on Twitter uh, and Facebook, find them on Instagram, and look for any articles they've written, search for them in Google News, search for them and see what boards they've been a part of. I want to have more information about them than they have about me, or at least equal. Because information is power, obviously, and in a discussion, the more information you have about a person, um, the more respected they're going to feel as well. So when I come in, I'll say, oh, you went to Stanford, oh, you graduated this year, I might know somebody from that year. Or, oh, Alfred, you worked at uh, Zappos. Uh, I'm a huge fan of Zappos. I've actually ordered over 20 pairs of shoes. Here's my favorite Zappos story. When you show that level of diligence and intelligence and foresight, man, does it start the whole conversation over. So there's a little uh, shaking hands, high-fiving, hello, everybody. You can show like you've done your due diligence yourself. They'll take you more seriously. Then when you start the meeting, you know, a dialogue like this, and I haven't prepared it, of, hi, I'm Jason. It's a pleasure to be here. Um, I'm here today to show you Inside.com, which is curated news. Would you like me to do a quick demo and then walk you through the deck? Would you like me to walk you through the deck and show a demo? I think the best way to do this would be to just demo the product, take your questions, and then walk you through the deck quickly. But I want to be respectful of your time. Uh, how does that sound? And they might tell you, like, hey, we've all read the deck. We don't need to go through the deck. Um, or they might say, you know what, we'd love for you to walk us through the deck. And then you can say, and by the way, please feel free to interrupt me at any time with your questions. Um, and if something's coming up later in the deck, I'll just let you know. Um, this is like sort of just general professionalism. And you also want to show that like, hey, you have an agenda for the meeting. So product demo, I like to show you know the most important parts of the product, but you don't need to show everything. And you really want to get people engaged. You want to be looking them in the eyes and seeing if they have any questions. And you can say things like, does that make sense? Or does anybody have any questions at this point? And they may say no, and you just continue, right? So if nobody jumps in with a question, just keep continuing on. So great question, Pam. It's a real honor for me to be in such a deep and meaningful partnership with the team at IBM. My first computer was an IBM PC Junior, and it took me six months to convince my dad to save up the money from his bar. And one night, he got home from the bar at six or seven in the morning, and I was annoying him as a 12-year-old. I really want the PC Junior. It's $900. Please get me the PC Junior. And he said, fine. He was kind of half in the bag at the time. Um, and he... Uh, we drove to downtown Manhattan to this computer store at, uh, on Lower Broadway. I'll never forget it. It was a Saturday morning. He had been out all night Friday. And uh, he had cash. And he walked in and he bought me the IBM PC Junior. 
and it was the greatest computer. It started me on my journey. And now, wow, it's like 30 years later, and I'm in a deep partnership with IBM. I can pinch myself. Like, it's really just super great to have the recognition of a world-class company like IBM who cares just as much as I do and my team does about supporting founders. So SmartCamp 2015, SmartCamp 2015, SmartCamp2015.com. If you're a fan of the show and uh, you appreciate all the work we do at Launch Festival, please, please go to your local SmartCamp 2015 and encourage entrepreneurs to go to it. And then, of course, you're all my guests uh, and you're the guest of IBM and Launch at Scale and at the Launch Festival. Couldn't do it without their support. Support, and it's just such a great partnership, and it's just beginning. So thanks again to our friends at IBM, and we'll see you next time uh, on a special Ask Jason episode.